This TikTok ban is literally ridiculous. You cannot convince me otherwise. I am absolutely 100% sure that anybody who is excited about the TikTok ban is a jealous little pocket watching hater. I mean, the things I see you guys say on the internet are absurd. It's very like, nah, 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 boo, boo. Guess you guys are gonna have to find another way to make money. Oh, I'm sorry, let me get this straight. Amidst the worst inflation in American history, you're actually happy that Americans are losing access to income? Social media isn't real, okay? But money is real and money is tangible. With the money that I have made off of TikTok, I was able to pay up my daughter's oral surgery that the dental insurance I pay for only covered at 50%. I was able to pay up the co-pays and the deductible for her to get a tonsillectomy and an adenoidectomy so she could actually breathe at night when she sleeps. I was able to afford organic and healthy food options for my diabetic mother. I was able to pay off all my credit card debt, my car loans, and the student loans that Congress absolutely refuses to forgive. Well, well, it's a risk to American security. But it's actually not because the same information that TikTok has the ability to sell off to the highest bidder is the exact same information that Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Snapchat have sold off to the highest bidder. They have been brought in front of American government more than TikTok ever has for security breaches for American citizens' information. Henceforth, why we're continuously being paid out on class action lawsuits, our banking information, our private information, our readily available biographical information is all all being sold off. They are creating AI profiles out of Americans using American social media. And none of that razzled you guys to the point where you wanted these apps to be banned. No, because you'd lose your mind if they were to delete these apps. But TikTok, TikTok is the security breach, right? I just think everybody would benefit from not having social media, from disconnecting from the internet and going outside, touch some grass. Yet here you are on social media complaining about social media. Isn't that fucking ironic? It's just, it's absurd. Social media is voluntary. If you think that everybody could benefit from the internet or social media going down, why don't you stop paying for your internet? Why don't you log off of your social media account? Why don't you go outside and touch grass with the family you claim to use social media to keep in contact with? Why don't you send the pictures of your kids in a private group message as opposed to posting them on the public internet where predators have access to them? You are not using social media to keep in contact with friends and family. You are using social media like you use mainstream media for entertainment purposes. You log into the app to be entertained. You post publicly to be entertaining. And somehow, somewhere in your mind, you're happy that other people who have successfully monetized being entertaining on social media are losing income amidst the worst inflation in America. Congress voted at 81% in agreeance to ban TikTok. Congress has never agreed at an 81% majority on anything except this. None of that is alarming to you. I don't think you guys are registering the severity of the situation and I'm really hoping that TikTok ends up being the straw that breaks the camel's back because American government is currently trying to take away access to income and non-biased global information. On a global scale, Americans are being studied under the premise of American propaganda and they cite in these textbooks that American propaganda is designed to keep Americans sick, lonely, and broke. And how many of you right now are sick, lonely, and broke. How much polarity do we have in politics? How much polarity do we have in gender wars? Everything we're doing is currently being propagated and if we have access to income that can pull us out of this situation or out of this country, if we have access to information that can advise us otherwise, we are in fact dangerous because the pen has always been mightier than the sword. Our healthcare is failing us. Our food manufacturing is failing us. Our educational system is failing us. Our taxes are failing us. Our government is failing us. Our constitution is failing us. We are now directly correlated to third world countries like North Korea. That is a real fucking thing. Maybe not to that extent, but we are undoubtedly an industrial military complex. We are taxed higher than socialist countries are, and we are kept away from information that could ever educate us otherwise. So, you know, like, what the fuck are you guys really happy about? Like, what are you really happy about, for real?